Hello everyone, my name is Lachlan and today I'm doing a recipe specifically for the kids. Now, just because it is for the kids doesn't mean all you adults can't cook it as well. It's a very easy recipe, but I would love it if we can get the kids involved in the kitchen, have some fun and cook a very nice dinner together. So, we're going to make spaghetti and meatballs. So, this is something that I cook quite regularly actually and I do it really, really easy when I get home from work. So in front of me I've got some sausages, pasta, tin tomatoes, some tomato paste, basil, an onion, some fennel seeds, a bit of garlic and some salt, and then for the end, some parmesan cheese. So we are actually going to use the sausages today for our meatballs. So I'm not even going to make a meatball mixture. We're going to use the meat that's in the sausage. Super easy. We're going to, going to make a quick tomato sauce and my spaghetti here. So I'm going to steam it in the steam oven. If you have one, perfect, you can do it that way as well. It's super consistent and super easy. If you don't have a steam oven, obviously you can boil it on the cooktop also. But this is something that we can probably smash together in 20 to 30 minutes, depending on the pace that you're cooking at. And I've got no doubt you'll have a super tasty dinner at the end. So come with me, I'll sort out my bench and we'll get to it. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is make our sauce. So I've got my onion, we're going to cut this together. Now, if you're not confident cutting an onion, or you're just not too sure how to use a knife properly, you can also grate this, which actually works really well. Before we start with the onion, get a pan, anything like this, or a little pot. We're going to pop this onto induction setting seven. So this will be preheating as we are cutting this onion. To cut the onion, take both ends off, like so. Peel off that excess layer if it's there. Cut the onion directly in half, and then take off that first layer of skin. So our onion is nicely peeled. Now, on your onion you have one end where the root is, and the other is exposed. So find that end where the root is, it's here, and you need to tuck your fingers up, hold your knife, so you're not holding it like this, you hold it nice and around the blade and around the handle, and don't cut all the way through this onion. So just do a few spots, feel free to take your time to make sure you've cut this and you haven't cut yourself. I do a cut this way, but you don't have to. That's just something I do to get it finer. As I said, a grater is probably the best way and the easiest way to do this nice and fine. And now I'll just cut this through. Okay, so once you've finished cutting your onion or, or grating it, whatever you would like to do, our pan is getting nice and warm. Go a bit of olive oil or vegetable oil, whatever you have at home. Maybe two tablespoons or so. Don't measure it, just, you know, a random amount. Grab your onions, pick up your board and just push it into your pot like so. And you can hear that really, really nice sizzle. Give this a stir. Oh. These are making me cry a little bit. Bit of salt. And we'll also add our fennel seeds. Now we want to cook this onion down for about five minutes. Okay, so it's been about five minutes. And if I hold up these onions now, you can see they're getting quite nice and golden, nice and soft. So this doesn't take long at all. So I'm gonna pop that back onto the heat. We're going to add our garlic now. So simply punch the garlic down. I'm just going to add one clove today. You can add as much as you like. To peel the skin, place your knife on top, make sure the blade faces away from you. Gently push down on the knife. You can then take out your garlic clove really easily. Now this is where, if you have one, you can pop it through a garlic crusher. I actually don't own one, so I'm going to just crush it with my knife. I'll add a bit of salt, and I'll quickly 
puree it. Even if you have garlic paste in your fridge, that's the same. So that's all I've done there is made a quick garlic paste. Now the reason why we add this later and not at the start of the onions is onion uh, cooks differently to garlic. The garlic will burn a bit quicker. And when, it, when the garlic burns, it doesn't taste very nice. So we'll give that a really quick cook. We are now going to add, as soon as you can start to smell the garlic, it's ready. So that's coming up really nicely now. Some tomato paste. Oh, so get someone strong, just, not me, to open the tomato paste. And a nice spoonful, maybe three tablespoons. They, that goes in. And we're going to cook this out also. Now you want to see this tomato paste almost so it splits. It'll start to look a little bit um, funny. And that's exactly what we want. So right now I'm down on induction setting six. I've turned it down a little bit. Whilst that tomato paste is cooking, we'll get our two tomato tins of diced tomatoes. Open these up. And in a second, once our tomato paste is cooked out, you'll see the oil starts to come out of it. I'm going to turn this up. So I've actually turned the cooktop up to induction setting eight. Reason being, when we add these cold tomatoes, the pan will drop. So we're combating that temperature essentially. So let's add in these tomatoes. And you can hear that slight sizzle. There we go. And stir this through. Now a good little trick is to fill up one of your tins with some water, pour that into the other tin. So now we've cleaned that tin. Pour that one into there as well. And pour that into the sauce. So there's no wastage. We get all that lovely tomato flavour. And now basically we're going to let this bubble away. Now you can bubble this away for as long as you like. This will be you know, consumable within 10 minutes, but if you go a bit longer, it will taste better. So it's completely up to you. Do what you like. So this sauce is bubbling really nicely. Whilst that's happening, we need another pan. We're going to start to make our meatballs. Now this is where it gets quite fun. It's my favorite part. Grab your sausages. Now this is where I purchase really whatever sausage you like. Um, even if you have some in the freezer, pour them out. This is a, a really great way to have them. Pick up your sausage and simply squeeze out some meat. Pop that into a pan. So these are going into a cold pan. Depending on the sausage, you might get four or five meatballs, maybe six um, out of each sausage. So pull them out and then this skin here you can throw out. So this will take a few minutes. Don't worry about rolling them. They're pretty rustic as you can see there. That's good, so we'll work away. Once we've got a full pan, we can get this onto the cooktop and start to cook those off. So I'll work away here. I'll continue to get some meatballs and then we'll come back. Okay, so I have a full pan now of meatballs. You can see I've used most of the sausages. I've got a few left over. Now I'm breaking a big rule in cooking here. Normally when we cook meat, we want a nice hot pan. So this is sort of a a different time where we can break the rules. I've moved my sauce to the other side of the cooktop now and I'm going to place those meatballs onto induction setting seven once again. Bit of oil over the top and let's just let them sit there for a little bit. We don't want to move them around too much. They will free up when they're happy. Also add a really nice pinch of salt at this stage also. Okay. Whilst that's cooking, I've got my pasta. So I've got spaghetti here, and as per the packet, this takes eight minutes to cook. So, how to open a pack of spaghetti, grab it really nice and tight in your hand, smash it on the bench. All that spaghetti sticks out the other end. It's the easiest way. Grab how much you think you need. I reckon I need three quarters of a packet 
uh, for me today, you know, depends how many people are at home, lay that in. As I said, I'm steaming it today, but you, know, you can boil it. For me, it's just more consistent when we steam it. It's the same every time. So a pinch of salt, like so. And here I've got some, a jug of water just from the tap. So it's, it's cold or it's warmish, just um, whatever comes out. Cover this. There's no specific amount, but make sure you have enough. So there's probably that depth, uh, five centimetres or so of water. So now because the packet says this takes eight minutes, I'm going to pop this into my steam oven at 100 degrees, which is the same as boiling water, for eight minutes or so. And then I simply pour it through a colander, my meatballs will be done, my sauce will be done, and dinner's ready. Okay, so the pasta's in. These meatballs now have been in for about oh, two minutes. You can hear them sizzling. Now if I pick this up, they'll actually, they'll break up and you're getting some really, really nice colour. So this is good. Once again, pop it down, leave it, and every two, three minutes or so, we'll give that a quick jiggle. Okay, so it's been about four or five minutes now. I've given these a few shakes, and look at the really nice colour that we're starting to get. They're sizzling away, all the fat's coming out, so really, really nice signs here, and very easy. I'm going to bring my sauce back across. It's bubbling away really nicely also. Now, pour all of those and scrape in all of those really nice flavours into your sauce. So now, I'm going to turn the temperature down to induction setting 5 and whilst we're waiting for the pasta to finish cooking, we'll have some really, really nice sauce happening here and we're almost finished, it's almost time that we have got a very tasty dinner. So. I'll come back when the pasta's cooked. We'll finish it off. Okay, so my pasta has about 10 seconds to go. You can see I'm getting a really nice thick meatball-y sauce here. This is looking really great. So I'm gonna strain off the pasta when that is finished. I've got a colander here, but my sink is over there. So I'll quickly run away. So I'll just quickly show you. It's hard to pick up, but it's, it's in here. Oh, just be careful, it is quite hot, but that's freed up really nicely. So, as I said, I'll pour this through the colander. Okay, so this is strained off. I'm going to pour that into my pan now. And a bit of that pasta water, probably half a cup or so. Now, really carefully, just mix this around. And if you've got an induction, these are great because if you're like me, you make a mess all the time, but induction's very easy to clean, so there's nothing to worry about there at all. Now, one of the final touches that we have to do, I've got my basil here. I'm going to take a third of the bunch and just really quickly chop it up. Just sort of hack at it. There's nothing, there's no right way or wrong way for this at the moment. I'm also going to get some parmesan cheese and my microplane and we'll put some cheese inside. Once again, gives us another quick stir around. And when we add that pasta, this will start to become really, really nice and thick. Nice thick sauce. Okay. Let's just wipe my bench down again. Get a nice big bowl. I'm going to twist this pasta. It's a little bit tricky. And pick it up. Let that fall inside. You might be able to do it this way also. It's always a little bit messy. Pile that on. Get some of those meatballs because they sort of separate a little bit. Pick them up and scatter them around. Now this is a massive bowl. This is a, a shared style bowl, but that's okay. Give that a bit of a jiggle. 
I'm going to find some nice basil leaves and just plonk those around. This is all for looks, but if you've spent all this hard work making dinner, let's make it look really nice also um, and can be really proud of your efforts. And then finally, some parmesan cheese. I like to go lots. Bit of olive oil as well. And there we go, we've just made a really, really nice, quick 20 to 30 minute pasta dish. So I have no doubt that all of you kids and adults can make this at home and get some really nice results. That's my hack version of meatballs and spaghetti basically. If you want this recipe, we'll pop one up on mealexperience.com.au or mealexperience.co.nz. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.